Cancer. A significant connection from your past is coming back in this week. But I feel that they still have something that's hidden. Let's dive in and take a look. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Cancer's weekly guidance message for March 14th through March 20th. In this message, Cancer, we are going to get an overview of the week. We'll break down each individual day. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's dive in here, Cancer, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Some sort of conflict. For some of you, if there is some sort of conflict that you're facing this week, be sure to stand your ground in that. Don't waver from what it is that you need to feel stable, to feel secure. I don't know who needs to hear that. Someone must feel here, Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces cancer. I feel like there's somebody from your past that's going to be trying to make their way back in. This person has been watching you grow, watching you heal, watching you build, work on something. Most likely some sort of business plan, business venture. I feel like the reason why this person is coming back is for personal gain. There is a need to be mindful here. Be mindful of this person's energy. The underlying energy here is the moon. This is something that's hidden, right? This is secrets. A lot of times, guys, the moon will also talk about CD lifestyles, okay? I feel here for some reason, this person that's coming back in, even though they may present themselves as everything's okay, as they're on the same path as you are on, I honestly feel like there's more to the story. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. I do feel you are on the right path. You may second guess or question whether you should entertain this person or not. But again, if you and this person separated for whatever reason, and this person comes back in as a changed man or woman, and it's okay to entertain the idea, but make sure that their actions match up with their words. So we're going to start here with the Queen of Pentacles for Monday. This is an energy of independence, of solidarity, standing your ground. I feel here that there is, you're having a lot of luck and money. For some of you, you may be getting some check in, income tax time, obviously, but something more, you're building something more, you're working on something more, Pisces, and it's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability in your life. Don't let this person come back in and shake that up, okay? So clarifying this Queen of Pentacles, we have the strength, we have the Ace of Pentacles. If you notice, there's a lot of Pentacles, guys, this is... A lot of times this is the practical things, right? The physical things, but this is also money. Let's be honest. Eight of Pentacles putting in work. Time, effort towards some sort of goal. Some sort of dream. Some sort of vision that you're trying to create for yourself. Okay. I feel here there was a, a deep connection, a significance with this person that's coming back from your past. So you guys either had a really intense connection, you guys were together for a long time, maybe this was your first romance, something along those lines. There were a lot of intense emotions between the two of you. I feel like this has also been, you haven't heard from this person or seen this person for a long time. 
Now, I will say whatever pops into your head first is the most likely outcome. It's the most likely person. Focus on this happiness. Focus on the stability. Okay? When this person comes back in, understand here, Cancer, this person is coming back in in the same energy that they left in. I don't think there's been very many changes. Think about how difficult it is to actively change yourself when you're going through your own healing process, when you're going through your own journey. A lot of the people that are on this channel that are followers and subscribers of my channel are already along this journey of healing, of growing. I feel like this person isn't. They're not actively aware of the damage they cause in other people. They're coming back in for personal gain and you're needing to pay attention here. On Thursday, Page of Swords energy, okay, is clarified by the Knight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. There is a need to hold back, hold off. Even if you are curious to see, has this person made any changes? There is a need to take this slow because I feel here it won't take much time to reveal what's hidden. This is going to feel nostalgic. I will say that. It's going to feel very nice to hear from this person. I feel like you're going to be telling this person a lot. A lot of things that have been going on. A lot of things that have changed. Even though, Cancer, you're usually not the social butterfly type, I feel like you ta you're talking a lot to this person about what you've been working on. I will say, be mindful of how much you share right now. Be mindful of how much you share right now. Take this slow. Take things slow here, okay? This person, again, is coming around because I feel like they kind of have already realized that some you're working on something. And I feel like they want a piece of the pie. But... Even if there is this energy of, well, this is interesting, Cancer. Even if there is this energy of nostalgia and you want to share everything with this person, understand that there's still something that they're holding back from telling you, okay? And I will say, if you quiet your mind, if you are patient and allow this person to tell you a little bit about what they've been going through since you guys have not spoken you're going to have an understanding here cancer you're going to have an understanding of maybe this person is still in the same energy as they were when they left all you have to do is let this person talk for a little bit by this weekend i feel like you're going to be in this energy of contemplation should i entertain this person? Should I walk away? You need to proceed with caution here. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the warning signs. Try not to get too caught up in these happy feelings, happy emotions, because cancer, it, it can go great. You and this person can come back together and everything be positive. But from what we can see, there's still some changes that this person is needing to make in order to be ready to entertain any type of connection, not just with you. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I'm not doing an extended version to the reading, guys, strictly for YouTube. If you find this message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. And I honestly think this Nine of Swords came out before. This is how I'm viewing this. Advice. Cancer. Okay, so this is how I'm going to read this. You need to do what's best for you. Okay, and I feel here there were in the past a lot of intense emotions between you and this person. There was at one point a very deep connection here. 
okay? But I feel like this connection has ran its course, meaning you have taken everything that you needed. You've learned all the lessons that you needed to learn here. There's nothing more to learn from this person. There's going to be some truth, some clarity that's going to be brought in. If you allow it, you have to hold back. You have to quiet your energy cancer and allow this person to speak, tell you what they've been through so you can understand where they're coming from. See what changes have been made or not made. More like here. You're going to come to a determination that they've not changed and the more you grow, the further apart you guys become. And that's okay. Just understand that that spirit telling you that you've learned everything you needed to learn here, Cancer. It's time to move forward. So let's pull an energy oracle out to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Cancer. You have journey. This is speaking on a journey. This card does channel the energy of travel. So there could be a trip that you're embarking on soon. When it's in the upright, it's in the energy of everything's going good. Everything's in your favor. What I feel like this card is calling to is the spiritual journey, the soul journey, Cancer. There has been a lot of significant lessons that you've learned from this person. So I'm not discrediting this connection at all. And you shouldn't either. Take some time to be thankful for those lessons that you've learned from this person. And maybe that's going to be by expressing that to this person. But then there's going to be a need for you to distance. And I know that's going to be difficult because a lot of these past memories are going to be brought up. And it's going to feel very nostalgic. But you also have to put yourself back in that time period and all of those happy nostalgic emotions what was the reason you left what was the reason you walked away from this person is that something that you're willing to accept in the present energy or is that something that they've actively changed that's really what it boils down to and i honestly feel here cancer the lessons have already been learned it's time to move forward and that's part of the journey. So Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.